Hey friends, welcome back to the show. Today we are in Midtown Melbourne, Florida at an Asian restaurant to do a nasty little job. So let's go see what we're getting into. All right, so what we're doing here at the Asian restaurant today is we are going to be replacing a commercial grease interceptor. I'm gonna tell you what that's all about. By code in restaurants, you are required to have some sort of a grease trap. In your large restaurants, you'll find them outside. They got manhole covers, capacity from 500 gallons and up. But they've made it accessible for these small restaurant owners where they can put in what's called grease interceptors, okay, which collects grease uh, from three basin sinks and dishwashers and all that other good stuff. And that's what these people have. But the one that we're replacing today has been in for a long time. I'm absolutely positive it's full of grease we're gonna to have to be careful probably put it on a blanket or something and drag that thing out and install the new one so let's go do it there it is Ooh, that's ugly a lot of little things need to be done here looks like it's going uphill yikes so there's a lot of little things in there that don't look right and everything is splattered with grease it's just absolutely nasty um i guess what we're going to do is we're going to go in and we're going to cut this thing loose and try the best we can to get that thing out of there without making a horrible mess so smelly oh my goodness oh now we got that disconnected oh can't get rid of the smell out of my nose that thing has got so much grease cake to it on the floor it's almost cemented to it i'm gonna have to get some sort of flat bar or something try to break that loose from the concrete and then we're gonna have to try to hump that thing out without making a giant mess and there's people in the restaurant that are eating <laughs> This is gonna have to do. God, worst case scenario, the whole bottom of this grease interceptor is completely rotted out. As soon as I broke it loose from the floor, grease and crap and water and all that stuff everywhere. And, and my partner's in there with a the shop back and he's fucking water into the floor drain as fast as he can. The only thing I could possibly try to do uh, to try to minimize the amount of mess is we have a back door out here. We're gonna try to roll that thing over onto a canvas style drop cloth blanket and drag it on out of here. Wish me luck. At the door. There you go. Ooh, we got that baby out of there. What a freaking mess. 
Oh, like a Chinese wire drill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my, my buddy here is laughing. He had to drag that thing out. That's every bit of two or three hundred pounds of grease sitting inside. I don't know what we're going to do with this. Anything you touch or anywhere you put, put it, it's going to stink like damn grease. So we're going to take our breath for a minute and we're going to go back in and we'll see if we can make sense of this and put the new one in. That thing had been in here so long that they'd refinished the floor around it. Ugh, look at all that. Ugh. Yuck. Now I do a lot of dirty, nasty jobs if you guys have seen any of my videos before. But hands down, probably on the top of my list of nastiest jobs to work on is when it comes to grease, traps, grease interceptors like we're replacing today, or floor drains in restaurants. They're no joke, man. I'd rather smell poo-poo all day long than this crap. So we're gonna get back at it in just a second. So in its place, we'll be replacing it with a Zern GT 2700-20 uh, grease interceptor. Let's go ahead and take the top lid off and see what kind of goodies they sent with us. Ooh. Top of that lid's hot. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh. Oh. Let's look inside of here. Okay, the concept of this, as you can see, that's inlet side. This is where our water from our basin sinks and the grease and stuff is going to be coming into down into this chamber we've got some instructions also a uh, another piece that's in there and it's supposed to filtrate because grease rises to the top and the water will end up pushing itself back up through here and out the outlet all right so a noah band a three inch with a three by inch and a half pvc reducer um i put the clamp on there Gonna have to do the exact same thing on the outlet side as you read inlet all right so we'll take this all in get that clamp down tire inch and a half in and then back out to the floor drain <laughs> we haven't fun yet time to go inside and hook this thing back up Okay, so now if you look, this is a pipe that's going into the grease trap. The problem is, is they had that the 90 is kind of bucked and it's going uphill. So I'm going to have to go underneath here, raise that trap, raise that trap, and the one that's back there, elevate that thing up at least two or three inches so our end product goes in well when it goes into the trap, the grease trap. All right, I went ahead, I cut back on some of those traps. I raised all three of them up about two inches. Now that 90 that's bucking uphill, I'm gonna have to cut it back in there, raise this up a little bit more, bring it out a little further, bring it back into our inlet. If you look closely, I still gotta bring that line right there up a little ways. I have a problem. It comes across here on this little valves in the way. I can't raise it. I'll take it, I'm gonna bend that handle out a little bit. Yeah. Now we can put it in the on position, have room, raise that valve, that pipe up enough. It gets in there. There we go. Beautiful. See how I snuck that drain in next to the other one? Kind of doubled part of the pipe. That's the outlet side. I'm ready to test this thing out.
Bang, there you go. That's how you replace a grease interceptor in a restaurant. Thanks. Hey, that's going to do it for this one. Thanks so much for hanging out and watching the nonsense. I'm not going to lie, working around grease, like I said, it's probably one of the nastiest things you can imagine. And the worst thing happened. We've lifted that old uh, grease trap up and the bottom was blown out. And we had a 911. We were bucking water. But it all worked out in the end. Uh, if this would have been more of a commercial application and we had all the right things going for us, we would have added in that flow meter as well as some sort of vent and stuff. But I don't think they're going to have any kind of problems. It's just for a two basin sink. It's been set up like that for years and years and they haven't had no problems other than the fact that the thing just wore out. Got any questions? I'm sure I do. Leave them down below and don't forget to keep plumbing.